Because here we just have boring everyday boiling water. Nothing too fancy and exciting. And I'll put a little bit of it in a cup. And then we will grab some dry ice. Um, and we'll just drop it. Again, boiling water, so it's going to boil fairly vigorously. As you can see, rolling out the counter on the floor, covering the counter itself with a fog-like mist, or mist. As the water itself cools down, the react it gets a lot slower because the dry ice flows. So it seems that hot water and dry ice work quite well, probably because of the difference in temperature. Now one thing you shouldn't do is put the dry ice inside a sealed container. So what the sealed container has a tendency of doing it is the pressure from the dry ice builds Dry ice gets converted from its liquid solid form into its gaseous form, it pretty much explodes. And you end up losing your container and you have to clean up and other various.